Hey guys, D Mike here for another episode of Pikmin 3 Deluxe. Today's been a bit of a day, so we're gonna go ahead and get started. We actually have a little bit of a chaotic episode ahead of us. Should be pretty fun though, we'll see how it goes. All things considered, the last episode was organized chaos. This one might just be chaotic chaos, we'll see. I've got high hopes for ourselves and for our captains. So I mentioned before that I wanted to have a hundred or so winged Pikmin. We'll, we'll do mostly winged Pikmin for now, but I think I might need a little bit of help from our rock buddies, so we'll do that first. And most of our winged Pikmin are of the flower variety, but not quite all of them. If you've been enjoying this series and other series that I've been making, like Super Nintendo Sundays, it would be a huge help if you could like the videos. Feel free to comment, subscribe if you haven't for up-to-the-date notifications on what I'm doing. And I'll continue to pump out more good content for all y'alls, as we do here at DMike Industries. So we've got a little bit more work to do. One of the things that we're still missing is this bridge right here. Just kidding, it's done. I thought we didn't finish that bridge. Looks like we got all the pieces last time. This is going to be kind of the majority of the episode. And then we'll do a little bit of wrap up. So if you remember, there was a bit of a distress signal that was put out from who may or may not be Captain Olimar. And that person apparently is up in the lofty tree trunk here. And they need our help. So we are going to give said help to them the best that we can. Alf always wishing well. And if you couldn't tell already, this is going to be plenty of chaos ensuing. The Scornets that we met from the last episode that we were able to vanquish have brought the big guns out today. So if you couldn't tell already, this is going to be a boss fight. So one of the things that you're going to want to do is you're going to want to send one of your captains and just throw them away. And then you're going to want to go ahead and switch to that captain. Why? Because for some reason, as long as it's going to be paying attention, the game will only attack your active captain. I have no idea why that is. But they're going to send the Scornets out in various attack patterns. And the boss here is only going to be going after whoever your current active captain is. They're not going to attack. So we literally could just leave Alf and Charlie over there just to hang out with our winged Pikmin and nothing will happen. So for the time being, we're going to let the Scornets come after us one last time. There's a bunch of different formations, which I think are really cool. I forget what this boss is called, of course, but they're going to do looks like we'll get the drill. Again, but there's a there's a few different ones and the boss is going to Go ahead and be trying to attack us, but there's no Pikmin to attack. So it's kind of fruitless Anyway We can juice up our Pikmin not not go to hints. We can juice up our Pikmin. Oh my goodness. We're hitting every wrong button It would be nice if we could Charge our Pikmin All right, so that didn't work at all. It's the Scornet Maestro. There you go. So, that was horrible, and, uh, yeah. Yeah, we're just not gonna be trying to pick fights. We already killed a couple of the Scornets, that was not intentional. We're gonna be over here, we're gonna switch to Brittany again, so... That was a bit- oh, Brittany will have a couple of winged Pikmin. But that's okay. They're only gonna go after Brittany. Because she is the active captain. And then, once that wears off, we're gonna switch to Alf and... It would have been smart to go with the hundred. I thought that the bridge wasn't done yet, so that was my bad. But yeah, the winged Pikmin are pretty strong, and they're not taking any guff. Looks like we might have lost one, or there's one just kind of float. Oh, there's one just over here. Okay, that's not a big deal. But yeah, we're kind of cheesing this fight a little bit. Not really, but we'll switch to Brittany again. She's the active captain, and once again, the little Scornets are just going to be coming out after us. This fight's pretty cool, actually. I like the way that they do this. And Alpha's gonna be 
you know, freaking out. Well, we have a Space Invaders type of attack coming out from the Scornet. And yeah, so obviously this is, you know, we're going to be attacked that way, but we're almost, we're basically almost done with this. We were able to take out half the Scornet's health in the first time around, and the second time around, it's done. So there's that. The Scornet Maestro. Has performed his last show. And Captain Olimar, we saved him! And we also subsequently killed all of the Scornets. I'm not entirely sure how that works, like the logic behind, like, the boss being taken out and then all of its little minions being like, all right, you know, we're going down with the ship, so. It is what it is. And we didn't need any hints. We just had to hint, hit the hint button a couple of times to get ourselves back on track. Okay, so we did it. And our reward is this juicy looking delicious lump. Who knows what that is? And we can send our, our winged Pikmin to go and pick up the the various little scornets. Yeah, I don't... I don't know. It's not super necessary. I mean, we're not really in the avenue of needing to... to... you know, propagate. We're doing pretty okay, but I mean, whatever. To the victors go the spoils. And we've got plenty of spoils. It's kind of wild to think about. Like, I, I feel like this should absolutely massively chug the game's frame rate. There's just so many of these. I think there's, I think there's about a hundred. And you just throw your pink Pikmin all around, and some of them are gonna go for the Scornet, which now I don't even have enough Pikmin to do that. I'm not entirely sure which ones are active or not. They're all just gonna kind of ferry them around. This looks kind of wild. I would just imagine, given the way that the game is programmed, that it would just be throwing a fit right now. But I don't know. And it's like they almost have to like wait their turn. This trail of tears that we've got going on here. It's very strange. It would be nice though, to have enough Pikmin to be able to carry all of this in one shot. That's not going to happen because we still have to carry back the Scornet Maestro and then the, the fruit we've acquired. I don't know exactly how many, okay. So thankfully, we do have enough to carry back the Meister. I'm not entirely concerned about the... I'm not concerned about... The little guys. We'll just leave them be. The carnage here. And we didn't even... We didn't suffer any losses, so I think that's really nice. We'll be able to carry back the... Okay, well, those guys got distracted. That's not what I wanted them to do, and now we don't have enough Pikmin to carry anything else. Great. Awesome sauce. Okay. So, I wasn't intending for this first part of the episode to happen this quickly. I thought that there would be a little more fanfare for what we were doing, but apparently not. So I'm gonna send Brittany... <laughs> this is wild looking, if you see this, this is kind of crazy. It's like a gosh dang pink parade. We'll send Brittany back to the Drake. And then in the meantime... This is a mess, my goodness. We can't really carry the Scornet back. Not that we need to, but it just feels like the right thing to do. I don't know if we have enough pick. Well, oh, we have one too few. That's unfortunate. One of our major exports at D Mike Industries are unfortunate occurrences and things that happen by mistake. But life's all about learning from our mistakes, right? Hopefully, you don't make the same mistake twice. I would like one of you to come with me. It looks like you're. Actually frozen. We have an impromptu message from the Drake. You can take bodies back, apparently. I don't believe that this Captain Armor fellow is deceased in any way, but it looks like he's sleeping almost. So we got the Hokitation from our analysis. He's in four sleep mode, okay. Must have been something hectic. But he's got the drive key. So... That's exciting. We finally uh, got what we were looking for. But yeah, I would like some of these Pikmin to come with me. To go and take the Scornet Maestro back. Not without reward. We have 12 Pikmin now. Some 
winged Pikmin and mostly rocks. I could have just gone all winged Pikmin, but I didn't think about it. I didn't. I I had was under the impression that the bridge was not finished, so that was my fault. Okay, great. Nope, we are just throwing everything we got. Okay, okay, now we're doing okay. So let's get out of this gravesite here. Oof. We don't need that. Yeah, this is pretty close to everything that you can do right now on this Twilight River. That boss fight is kind of the titular thing that occurs. <laughs> There's just some scorn that's laying around. That's great. This is kind of the titular thing that you do for now. There really isn't a ton left that we're capable of doing on the Twilight River. I believe that there might be a fruit, one fruit left that we're missing. That I would like to continue to investigate here for a moment. We'll use just Charlie and Alf to explore. Uh, here's the bag that I wanted to push last time, but I forgot. So we'll need some Pikmin for that. We'll go ahead and pop back over to Brittany. She's got 11 Pikmin, and we'll have her meet up with Charlie and Alf. Wherever they are, I forget. Near, far, wherever you are. We'll have her go here. And we'll continue our exploring. So back the other way was where that bag was. That sack was preventing our progress, that's okay. And I believe there is a small... Let's check the co-pad. I believe there is a small cave around that might be bearing fruit for us. That we should be able to explore. We can go back here, I believe, into this cave, so... I'll have everybody head back to the Drake for a moment. But then we'll have to be careful. Well, we should be able to use winged Pikmin to get this area, which is nice. And then collect a fruit. There's some that we just can't get right now, obviously. But, you know. It is what it is. So we'll send our intrepid explorers, our deadly duo of Alf and Charlie, back to the Drake. We recovered a new fruit. That's the one from the boss fight. And there's the Scornet Maestro. As Brittany makes her way around, she's gonna bring it around town. We can switch to Brittany. I really love the idea that there's this kind of like, this AI, this auto-programmed setting where you can just split up your explorers and then it gives you a heads up on when they are in the area that they need to be. I think that's really nice. Hopefully this bag only requires 10 Pikmin. I feel like it might need 20. Which could be a pain in my buns. Oh no, it's 10. Oof. We lucked out. So we'll go ahead and have our winged Pikmin thrust themselves against this sack and push it out of the way. Excellent, and that's a shortcut. Okay. It's wonderful, that's all the way back to the beginning. We should be able now to take our horde of Pikmin as these ones are struggling to get it back, we want to head into that cave area where we lit this up previously. Where did it go? Just a moment. I'm getting all out of sorts. We lit this cave up previously and we weren't able to go very far. So I would like Charlie and Alf to take our pink Pikmin. Now, one of the things that you're obviously going to have to be mindful of is that we are going to be crossing some water and in doing so, you can't bring any Pikmin besides the winged Pikmin. They're the ones that don't suffer any sort of negative results from crossing water. So leave your anything. Okay. Leave your anything besides winged Pikmin behind. Okay. You guys have fun with that. And we will hopefully be able to collect one last fruit. I believe this is the cave that we were in with all the cool neato stuff. All right, so this is where we lit this up earlier with our yellow Pikmin. We're actually gonna whistle off the pinks for a moment just so that way I can make sure the coast is clear. As you can see, there's a strange blue pellet and these creepy little weird tadpole things that will come up on the land. That's why you, you're gonna wanna stage your wing Pikmin accordingly. 
We're gonna take a little splish splash. I'm assuming these tadpole guys aren't going to be aggressive enough to cause us problems. But I do know there's a, there's a nasty surprise, I believe, on the other side of this cave. If I'm not incorrect. Ah, okay. So yeah, we do have another arachnode that we have to take out. But we got some berries. Ooh, ooh, ooh. that looks very nice. How do y'all feel about berries? I feel like there's so many that it's hard to really be like, I don't like berries at all. And I'd be like, man, you crazy because you got strawberries, blueberries, blackberries, gooseberries, snozberries, all kinds of berries. It's hard not to at least like one of them. But we do have a sorry memory from Captain Olimar. Let's go ahead and check this out. Louie and I go way back. Huh, I wonder if that's the guy that was with Captain Olimar. But I still don't know him that well. The other day I heard him mutter bullborb. That's a steak. And the bug-eyed crawmad should be roasted. And it's a deep fry for the bearded amp rat. Where are his priorities? Sounds like Louie might be a connoisseur of the culinary arts. But yeah. So these weird little tadpole things are going to be trying to harass us. This is why you're going to want winged Pikmin, because at this stage in the game, we are incapable of traversing any sort of aquatic area with anything besides winged Pikmin. That's all that we can do. There's a blue pellet over there, which makes me curious about what that could mean, but we're not quite ready for that. Instead, have your winged Pikmin go and attack the arachnode and clear out this spider web. Don't make the same mistake twice and get yourself some berries. How about it? Charlie's got some nice berries. So let's go ahead and let's go ahead and do that. These are very easy to carry, thankfully. It only requires one winged Pikmin at a time. Very cute. Watching them ferry things around. And we'll go ahead and not charge Charlie, because that's physically impossible. We'll be careful here and make sure that these nasty little tadpole buggers aren't gonna try to come after us. They're gonna take the path of least resistance, which is nice. So they'll be flying over the ledge here, which the tadpole things aren't gonna really be able to get after us, which is good. So they're land dwellers and we're all about aviation at this point in the game. So we'll carry that pellet. Our winged Pikmin for some reason will try to attack mushrooms. Yeah, I don't quite understand the AI of the Pikmin sometimes in this game. I don't think it really matters, but it is kind of strange. So it is what it is. We'll live with it. We live with our choices. And here we can pick back up the remaining Pikmin that were out here. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Okay. That, yeah. Some of this is just very strange, like when I'm trying to get the Pikmin all to work together and carry stuff. Sometimes they're like, you know what? We're gonna make this easy. Carrying stuff is gonna be simple and pain-free. And then other times it's like, you know what? Let's make this complicated and awkward and make D-Mike look bad. So it is what it is. But we got three of those raspberries as part of our collection. I like to peep the onion real quick and see what we kind of have the least amount of. So yeah, got a decent amount of the pink Pikmin. And you know what? We've got a little bit of time left, and I know I said I wasn't going to do it, but I lied. And uh, I am going to do it, just because I'm a turd burglar, and I think it's funny. So those bull borbs that are on the other side of the river, I'm going to put all the pinks away. And we're going to go ahead and take out some yellows. We only need a handful of yellows. I think we only need four because of the ones that we were dealing with. And we'll take out a bunch of reds, because we need to get our red population going a bit. We'll put the rocks away. I don't really need those. We're actually gonna be a little pragmatic about how we're gonna handle this today. We're actually, we got a bit of a scheme going on. So let's go ahead and put all the winged Pikmin back as I accidentally throw that. Getting a little bit of revenge for the mini Bulborb variety that we screwed up last time. So we're gonna wanna head quickly back across if we have time to do this. I'm gonna make time. That's a big thing. You make time for, for your friends, for vengeance. Okay, and we'll have Brittany. We'll switch back to Brittany first. And then we'll have her go to the Drake and just hang tight. Charlie and Alf are... We've got a little bit of a sadistic mission. We're going the wrong way, which is great. So we're burning... We're burning time. We were over in the right area for a moment. 
I need to go over to where the bomb rocks are. I would like to remember where those are. We're gonna take a little peep inside. Where is the bomb rocks? Where is, I did, okay. That's good English. Here at D Mike Industries, we prioritize the best English here there. So we'll go here. And we'll switch to Brittany as she tries to run into the, and we are very stuck. Okay, great. So we'll just try to propagate a little bit while we're waiting. Let everybody else go on their mission of destruction. And we'll keep growing our pinks. This is just kind of the fun thing that you can do in this game. You can split up. You can, you know, you can be really practical. You can go and, you know, try to accomplish good things. And, or other times you can just go and, you know, just be full of malice, like me. So... Okay, yellows, if you could go ahead and grab those bomb rocks like I need you to. Great. Okay. So in the moments that we still have, we're going to cross the river. And we're going to meet up. This looks pretty good. Actually, let's do it on this side. Because if you remember the bull borbs, these are these three green doodads. Oh, they're going to get what's coming to them. You bet. You betcha. That's how we do it here at DMIC Industries. Once again, very vindictive. If I don't know if this is actually going to work or not, but if it doesn't, as long as all the Pikmin are whistled, it's fine, it's safe. So, this may or may not work, but I'm feeling a little feisty today. And I like to get some revenge, because the little bull borbs in the previous episode gave me a little bit of trouble, because I'm a ding-dong, that's my fault. So we got a little bit of the quarter part of the day left. I love listening to the winged Pikmin try to figure stuff out. We didn't have a full squad, so... Okay, so here we go. We're going to sneak attack. We're going to take them from behind, as we are known to do here. Yes, you have. You have arrived because I am controlling you now. All right. So... This is okay. We're going to throw a bomb rock, and then we're going to run. Ha <laughs> ha! Bye! Got him! All right. And why not? One more for good measure. Because these guys are jerks. And bye! Ha ha ha, suckers! Alright. So, I don't know if we'll have time to carry all of these back, but we will try. We're gonna repopulate our reds this way. So, we went on a little bit of a, a kind of attacking mission here. Take out the bull borbs. There isn't really anything else left to do. Oh, what is attacking us now? Oh, is it that stupid leaf bug? Oh my goodness. Get out of here. You stupid, mm, you're a little jerk. Anyway, we'll ignore that. Taking casualties unnecessarily. Yeah, I don't think we'll be able to make it back in time. We can try. The Pikmin that we don't, we're gonna follow right next to him. So if we don't make it in time, we will obviously whistle back our 30 reds. Probably should have given them a little spicy spray. That would have been good, right? But hey, we still got revenge. Yeah, so we'll go ahead and Try to whistle everybody back. Come back, come back, come back, fellas. Yeah. And I believe the other half of the squad is with Brittany. And that's a day. So we got revenge, as we're known to do. Killed a bunch of stuff. Took out the Scornet Maestro. And all of its buddies just kind of gave up trying to live. So, a weird episode, but pretty impressive. Like I said last time, Pikmin is more fun when you live vindictively. It's all about revenge. Had a couple of casualties at the end with that stupid skittering leaf bug thing. I forgot about that. But we got revenge and there will be plenty of opportunities for more revenge, of course. So let's see what uh, life is like post Scorn at Maestro. Got three, three raspberries and then a new fruit today. The seed hive. Go ahead and take a look at this. Got a bit of a neep on it. This is a papaya. Papayas are kind of known as like a tropical fruit. If you ever had like a tropical fruit salad, you're usually gonna find stuff like uh, maybe pineapple in there, some mango. Papaya is a big popular choice for that as well. It gives us two and a half vials, 25 types of fruit. Now that we've put the papaya in our place, pretty good. 
And three of the juicy gaggles. Very good. I don't think raspberries are produce purple juice though. Like, I don't know. I feel like raspberries are more kind of a red. This almost looks like we're juice and grapes or something. I don't know. It doesn't matter. It's all the same stuff. Raspberries are delicious though. Like I've mentioned before, a nice raspberry wine goes a long way. And we've got so much juice now that we can't even see it all on the screen. So we're not quite the quite the stockpile here. We are way ahead of schedule. And yeah, you can only see four rows apparently. A little bit of a juice buffer, she says. So day 17 in the books, everybody. Wonderful job. We propagated a lot, lost a little bit. So you know, we did pretty well today. Like, look at that, look at that pink Pikmin number. Like, it just went way up. And we would have had a lot of reds had I not been dilly-dallying, but mistakes were made and we weren't very efficient, but that's okay. Let's go ahead and read a, an alp entry for day 17. We finally managed to rescue Captain Olimar, but his suit has put him in a state of deep sleep. All we can do is wait for him to wake up. But no sign of the cosmic drive key there. I guess we'll use this time to relax for a bit and get some rest. Not the best day. Signed, Elf. At least he's self-aware. Strange though, us being told that we had the Cosmic Drive key and then apparently we didn't. But you can fight the Scorn at Maestro! Whatever. I always feel like that's kind of jarring where the game's like, Hey, you did this thing! And then it's supposed to end the normal way you expect and then it's like, Hey, how about this metagame thing? Anyway. We did a great job, everybody. So thanks for joining me. This has been Pikmin 3 Deluxe. I've been D-Mike, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.